Hello again, and let's do more business news. Now, the Ghana's fisheries sector has received 1.5 million euros um, uh, support from the European Union to support the fisheries sector. Charles Aite has compiled the story and has the rest of the story. Ghana's fisheries sector is set to experience a facelift as the Improved Regional Fisheries Governance Programme in West Africa, PESCAL, targets the country's fisheries sector in the second phase as the programme gets underway. With disturbing statistics showing negative growth for the sector, the 1.5 million euro project funded by the European Union is aimed at ensuring sustainable management of Ghana's fisheries resources. Here is country representative of the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, Abebe Hill Gabriel. The governance issues is a big challenge. In fact, uh, it could be said that it is the source of most of the problems. And therefore, uh, this project that focuses on uh, improvement of the governance and management of fisheries sector in West Africa. Also, Director of Ghana's Fisheries Commission, Michael Arthur Dazi, has raised concerns over the pressure on the country's marine sector. With records of a low catch and scourge of illegal fishing, Michael Arthur Dazi believes the project will go a long way to deal with the structural challenges faced Ghana's fisheries sector. The canker of illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing activities And uh, the pillar of eradication of IEU, in my mind, is effective monitoring, control, and surveillance systems put in place. The fishery sector in Ghana principally encompasses marine fishery, inland fishery, and aquaculture fishery, as well as related activities in fish storage, preservation, marketing, and distribution. The European Union has fulfilled one of its promises of supporting Ghana in the implementation of the Economic Partnership Agreement. The support is in form or in line with a grant, is in the form of a grant um, and service contract to the Ghana Export Group Promotion Authority and the Ghana Investment Promotion Center to enhance the capacities of farmers in the export sector. The interim economic partnership agreement is between Ghana and the European Union to allow Ghana a market access into EU countries without a quota. The agreement support, which has been signed between the Ministry of Trade and Industry and the European Union delegation in Ghana, is to make way for the release of funds to help build capacity of agencies like the Ghana Export Promotion Authority to improve the competitiveness of the country in exports. At a short signing ceremony, leader of the EU delegation, Dina Akuntia, noted that the deal, which will boost the country's implementation of the interim economic partnership agreement, is a new phase of the trade relationship between Ghana and the EU. Finally, our commitments have been fulfilled both on the um, technical side of the trade agreement, you know, the tariffs and, and, and the rules of origin and all that, but also on the development pillar of the EPA that is a fundamental component of the economic partnership agreement because that is an agreement whose main objective is the development and growth uh, of Ghana and to help Ghana integrate in the, in the world trade. Minister of Trade and Industry Alan Chermantin expressed confidence that the private sector will be given the chance to take advantage of the new market in the European Union from the deal. Uh, this uh, program or this agreement is meant to support Ghana to establish the institutional machinery that will help our private sector to be able to produce uh, competitively and export to the EU to take advantage of the EPA. The grant is focusing on three export value chains of the country, which includes mango, cassava and cosmetics. In other news tonight, export of commodities has been the propeller of many African economies. They have created powerhouses across the length and breadth of Africa. Nigeria, Ghana and Angola are just a few of sovereigns that have lived in growth based on commodities such as oil and gold. But what happens when these commodities have not been transformed? Well, Ghana is part of many countries that export its commodity in its raw form. 
Well, the launch of the African Industrial Trade Show, WITEX 2020, seems to have some solution to Ghana's problem. Details in the following report. Data from the African Development Bank has indicated Ghana's economy continues to expand with real GDP growth estimated at 7.1% in 2019. Since 2017, high and sustained growth rates have consistently placed Ghana among Africa's 10 fastest growing economies. Despite these achievements, there are growing concerns over Ghana's inability to add value to its export commodities, which are the key drivers of the economy. It is for this reason that African Industrial Trade Show Waiters 2020 has been launched. The event, slated from April 21 to 23 at the Fantasy Dome in Accra, will host industry players to find solutions to some bottlenecks facing some key sectors of the economy. George Pearson is the organizer and regional director for Montgomery. We run already a number of successful exhibitions in uh, Nigeria, including Propac West Africa, which is uh, the region's leading manufacturing exhibition. This has over 200 companies. And what we really want to do is make Waitex this hub for the manufacturing and mining sector. So we're very much, we have successful shows across Africa. This is our first exhibition going into Ghana and Waitex. We very much want to see this as the leading platform um, for local manufacturers and mining operators to source their uh, products, technology and services to help enhance their efficiency. He added the three-day event will offer industry players the opportunity to market, network, as well as acquire and share knowledge on moving Ghana's economy forward. The exhibitors very much are exhibitors that provide uh, products, technology and services uh, and equipment to the mining operators and the manufacturers. So what we're looking to do is support Ghana's industrialization by bringing state-of-the-art equipment and technology to the manufacturers and the mining operators themselves in Ghana. Now, we're looking at companies from all across the world. Uh, we have over 100 companies exhibiting. Key sectors including manufacturing, mining and packaging industries will be targeted to offer some innovations and solutions which can help address the bottlenecks and also create an environment to foster growth. The event in partnership with Ghana Investment Promotion Centre is also expected to become a key driver in supporting the government's One District, One Factory agenda. Now, it was a smiley day for most commodities on the international market. Some gains were made with gold inching closer to the $60 mark. It sold today at $59.06 a barrel. The market figures are up next in Commodity News. So much for watching business with me, Sandra SNM Afeno. And here at Multimedia, we are celebrating 25 years of media excellence. We thank you so much for making us number one. Please do log on to myjoonline.com forward slash business for more business news updates. Thanks for watching.